Okay, I showed you um, the sprocket. I showed you that I was going to come down here and go back, which I did. And I provided a good solid link here. Yep. Drilled a hole through that piece of steel. The steel is uh, about three eighths of an inch thick. Going forward, come down here, did the same thing around an idler sprocket, right? And I went forward. Now hang on, I'm going to walk around. I'm going to show you my adjustment. Uh, I got 18 feet of chain on there, approximately. So, you know, I know that chain is going to stretch as soon as it starts wearing. So here's my adjustment and the anchor for the other end, right? Right there. Did the same thing, drilled a hole through the rod. I had to put a flat spot on one side of it. Drilled a hole through the rod, put the uh, master in there, and a piece of pipe, um, threaded rod, gives me adjustment to and fro. Alright? Now, I'm going to shut you off for a minute, cut you in on another video, and we'll be right back. Okay, got my motor on. I got uh, two batteries over there. Unfortunately, the batteries I don't believe are any good anymore. Okay, so all I'm trying to do today is determine how fast this damn thing will go with an 11 tooth sprocket on that motor. Okay, I'm going to charge it up, put it, get it charged from here to this spot is 24 inches. So, it's going to tell me how fast this thing would cut an 8 foot log. Right? Here we go. Right there. You can't see it, but I can. Alright, here we go. It makes lots of noise, right? Alright, right there. It took 15 seconds to go 2 feet. Meaning for an 8 foot log it would take a minute to plow through and cut off a board, a cant, a slab. But let me tell you, I think that this is, uh, I think it's way better than that. The 15 seconds is on batteries that just don't hold a charge. Uh, and it was on the charger too. Alright, talk to you later. Bye-bye.